Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Elisha's Faith, and our scripture is 2 Kings chapter 4. One day, when her child was older, he went out to help his father, who was working with the harvesters. Suddenly he cried out, My head hurts! My head hurts! His father said to one of the servants, Carry him home to his mother. So the servant took him home, and his mother held him on her lap. But around noontime he died. She carried him up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, then shut the door and left him there. She sent a message to her husband, Send one of the servants and a donkey so I can hurry to the man of God and come right back. Why go today? he asked. It is neither a new moon festival nor a Sabbath. But she said, It will be all right. So she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Hurry, don't slow down unless I tell you to. So Elisha returned with her. Gehazi hurried on ahead and laid the staff on the child's face, but nothing happened. There was no sign of life. He returned to meet Elisha and told him, The child is still dead. When Elisha arrived, the child was indeed dead, lying there on the prophet's bed. He went in alone and shut the door behind him and prayed to the Lord. Then he laid down on the child's body, placing his mouth on the child's mouth, his eyes on the child's eyes, and his hands on the child's hands. And as he stretched out on him, the child's body began to grow warm again. Elisha got up, walked back and forth across the room once, and then stretched himself out again on the child. This time the boy sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Then Elisha summoned Gehazi, Call the child's mother, he said. And when she came in, Elisha said, Here, take your son. She fell at his feet and bowed before him, overwhelmed with gratitude. Then she took her son in her arms and carried him downstairs. The faith of Elisha has always fascinated me. The test of a true prophet is 100% accuracy. There was no wiggle room for that. The penalty for prophetic failure was death. Speaking or acting in the name of God and then having your words or deeds fizzle out was a mark that you were a false prophet. It got you a death warrant. It seemed Elisha's faith was far beyond worrying about what others might think of him or his words and deeds. For Elisha, it was all about serving the God who had called him to be a prophet. Laying face down on the child, with mouth, nose, hands, and eyes, all identifying with the boy, Elisha was once again accepting the risk of being a prophet. This boy would raise to life, or Elisha would join him in death. This was no time for unanswered prayer. For you today... In a day when, for most of the world's culture, even the pretense of godliness has been tossed in the recycle bin, it's especially difficult to find faith like Elisha's, big enough to trust God no matter what this world's fads demand. Despite that, the offer from heaven still stands. 2 Chronicles 7.14 Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.